Search and rescue crews continue to look for survivors in the US state of Kentucky, where record flooding has wiped out entire communities. At least 28 people have died, although the state's governor warned the number could rise. Deep beneath the Appalachian Mountains, something unusual is stirring. So unusual it set off a red alert among geologists. Satellite images have captured a sudden ground uplift, leaving scientists baffled and urgently investigating the cause. Is it merely a natural shift, or the first sign of something far more alarming? No one knows for sure. But one thing's clear. This mysterious movement has turned quiet ridges into a growing source of tension, with experts and locals alike keeping a close eye on what happens next. Initial discovery and alert a few weeks before the alert, Kentucky went through a terrible flood. Heavy rain caused landslides, damaged homes, and took the lives of at least 28 people. Rescue teams searched day and night for the missing. This happened in the Appalachian Mountains, a place known for being calm and quiet when it comes to land movement. These mountains have been around for millions of years. They have not had big changes for a very long time. So when scientists raised a red alert, it was a big deal. Alerts like this are extremely rare in this area. The strange movement was not noticed by people on the ground. It was first seen from space. Satellites using a special radar called Synthetic Aperture Radar, or SAR, found something unusual. This radar can track small changes in the ground with high accuracy. It uses a method called interferometry. It compares radar images taken at different times. Over several days, scientists started seeing a clear pattern. The ground was rising, and it was happening quickly. The land shift covered many places. Parts of West Virginia, Virginia, Eastern Kentucky, and Tennessee were all affected. In less than one week, the ground lifted by around 12 centimeters. That may not seem like much, but for experts, it is very important. Land does not usually move this fast in this part of the country. The Appalachian Mountains have stayed still for a long time. This new movement is strong and unexpected. Scientists believe something deep underground is changing. Now they are watching closely to understand what comes next. But this was just the beginning of something much bigger happening beneath their feet. The Appalachian Mountains are very old. They started forming more than 400 million years ago during a time called the Paleozoic Era. Long ago, these mountains were huge. Some say they were as tall as the Himalayas are today. Over many millions of years, wind, rain, and snow wore them down. What we see now are soft rolling hills and valleys. These mountains were built when giant land pieces came together to form a supercontinent called Pangaea. That crash pushed up the mountains and left deep cracks and folds in the ground. Since then, the land in this area has been calm and steady. This new ground movement is a big surprise for scientists. For many years, experts believed this part of the country was safe from big changes. The East Coast was seen as quiet and settled. But now, something deep underground may be shifting. Old cracks and faults that formed during the creation of Pangaea have been locked for hundreds of millions of years. Now they might be starting to move again. If this is true, it could mean big changes are coming. The land may rise more. It could put pressure on deep rock layers. It may even lead to earthquakes in places that have never had them before. This kind of thing is very rare in the Appalachian region. Experts are now rethinking what they know about this area. The uplift is not something they expected to see. It is making them take a closer look at how stable the ground really is. Even though the mountains look peaceful, something deep below may now be waking up after a very long rest. So what could possibly wake up these ancient sleeping giants after millions of years? Scientific hypotheses and theories some scientists believe the ground is rising because of heat deep inside the earth. This idea is called the mantle dynamics theory. They think a plume of hot material is pushing upward from the mantle, the layer below the earth's crust. When this hot material rises, it creates pressure that lifts the land above it. This kind of thing has happened before in places like Yellowstone and the East African Rift. These areas are known for strong underground activity. If it is happening in the Appalachian region, it means a ground that may not be as quiet as people once believed. Another idea is called delamination. This happens when a heavy layer deep under the ground breaks off and sinks. When that heavy piece falls away, the crust above becomes lighter and can rise. It is like something heavy being removed from a sponge. The sponge slowly rises again. This kind of movement has been seen in the Sierra Nevada and the Andes Mountains, but it has never been seen before in the eastern part of the United States. 
if this is what is going on now, the shape of the land could change in a big way. Hills and valleys could shift or new ones might form over time. Some experts think this uplift could be a warning. When the ground moves quickly, it can put stress on old cracks deep in the earth. These cracks are called fault lines. Some of them are not well mapped because they are very old. Fast movement add pressure to these weak spots. Tiny earthquakes have already been recorded in the area. These small tremors might be early signs of something more serious underground. With these scary possibilities in mind, scientists knew they had to act fast to understand what was really going on. The land movement is not happening in one small place. It is spread across a large part of the Appalachian region. Cities like Charleston in West Virginia, Roanoke in Virginia, and Knoxville in Tennessee are inside the zone that may be affected. These are busy places with many people, homes, and important buildings. This is not a local issue. The uplift covers a wide area, which means more towns and nearby places may also be at risk. Many roads, bridges, and power lines were built with the idea that the ground would stay steady. These systems are strong but not made to handle rising or shifting land. Even small changes can hurt them over time. Highways may crack, bridges can weaken, and pipes underground might break. Water systems could also face trouble. If the ground near reservoirs or dams shifts, it could lead to leaks or damage that can affect clean water supply and power for towns and cities that depend on these systems every day. Moving land can also change how water flows. Rivers may take new paths. Underground water sources might drop or shift. That could lead to some places getting too much water and others not getting enough. Both floods and water shortages are possible. The Tennessee River and the New River are two major rivers in the region. If their paths change, it can affect many people and farms nearby. The shape of the land helps guide the water. If that shape changes, the whole water system in the area may start to behave in new and risky ways. This can impact homes, crops, and drinking water. As the danger became clear, teams of experts rushed to set up the biggest ground-watching project the East Coast had ever seen. Ongoing monitoring and investigation since the ground started rising, scientists have been watching it closely. Satellites show the land is still going up. It is rising more slowly now, but it keeps moving at a steady pace. Some people thought it could be caused by weather or ground settling, but the data says something else. The steady uplift means the cause is likely deep underground. This kind of movement does not match simple changes that come and go with the seasons. It points to a stronger and longer change happening below the surface. Many groups are now working together to study the uplift. These include the United States Geological Survey, NASA, NOAA, and state geological teams. Together, they have started one of the biggest ground studies ever done in the eastern United States. They use satellites, airplanes, and ground tools to collect data every day. GPS stations are being checked and reset to give better readings. These tools help experts see what is going on and track any changes as they happen. This large team effort shows how serious the situation is becoming. Experts are using many types of machines to learn more. Some satellites fly over the poles and take pictures of the ground from above. Others use lasers from the air to scan the land. This is called LIDAR. It helps spot even small changes in height. Seismic tools on the ground listen for tiny shakes. Boreholes with thermometers track heat changes deep underground. Another tool, called magnetotelluric imaging, helps map the rocks below by studying natural signals in the earth. All these tools work together to give a better picture of what is happening. With each new reading, scientists learn more about the strange uplift under the Appalachian Mountains. But the more they looked, the stranger things got, and the clues they found were unlike anything they expected. Scientists are now looking deep underground to learn more about the uplift. They are using new tools to map old fault lines that formed millions of years ago. These cracks in the earth are being studied in high detail using a method called tomography. This gives a clear picture of what lies far below the surface. Some of these deep faults are showing signs of movement. Pressure is also building up in the crust, but not in the same way across all areas. This uneven pressure could mean that the land may shift more in some places than in others. Experts are also watching how the shape of the land is changing. Rivers are cutting into the ground faster than before. This is called river incision. Scientists are measuring the height of river terraces to see if they are moving. They are also studying how much sand and rock the rivers carry. When these things change, it shows that the land is shifting. 
These changes move slowly, but they can tell a lot about what is happening deep in the Earth. Nature leaves clues, and these slow changes help scientists read them. Another area scientists are studying is fluid movement underground. Hot fluids may be rising through the crust. When these fluids move through rocks, they can make the rocks weaker. This can lead to more movement or cracks in the ground. There is also a chance that a hydrothermal system is forming deep below. This means heat and water may be mixing underground. To learn more, scientists are testing gases that come out of the surface. They study these gases to find out what is happening deep below. Each test brings more answers and helps build a clearer picture of the uplift. The pieces of the puzzle were starting to fit together, but what they revealed was both fascinating and frightening. Scientists have been testing gases that come from the ground in the Appalachian area. One of the key gases is helium. There are two types of helium found in nature. One is called helium-3, and the other is helium-4. Right now, experts are seeing a small rise in the amount of helium-3 compared to helium-4. Even a small change matters. Helium-3 usually comes from deep inside the Earth. When more of it starts showing up near the surface, it means something from the mantle may be moving upward. This gives strong proof that deep forces are now active under the land. Experts are also checking for changes in the Earth's magnetic field. They use tools called magnetometers. These are placed on drones and small planes that fly over the region. The readings have shown small shifts in the magnetic field. These changes can happen when rocks with magnetic minerals move or twist. When the ground changes shape, it can push or turn these rocks. That leads to changes in the magnetic signals. The shifts are small, but they are real. These new magnetic signs are helping scientists build better tools for early warning. They are learning how to read the signals and match them with land movement. This helps them better understand what is going on below. When they use a magnetic data along with gas levels and ground motion, they get a more complete picture. Every test adds more to the story. Bit by bit, these clues are helping experts figure out what is really going on under the Appalachian Mountains. The land may look calm on top. But deep below, something big could be taking shape. These underground signals were telling a story that could change everything we thought we knew about our planet. Broader implications and theories, some scientists think the land movement in the Appalachian Mountains may be the start of a big change. There is a chance that a new crack, called a rift, could form deep in the Earth. This kind of rift can lead to more breaks in the land, and maybe even volcanoes over time. These changes move slowly and take millions of years. But the early signs are important. If this continues, it could change the shape of the land in the far future. This kind of shift has not happened in more than 500 million years, so it would be a major event in Earth's history. The land movement may also be part of changes in the North American plate. This plate is a large piece of the Earth's surface. It is always moving, though very slowly. Some pressure may be coming from faraway places where one plate slides under another. There could also be changes happening near the Mid-Atlantic Ridge far out in the ocean. These forces may be reaching into the center of the plate and waking up old weak spots that have been quiet for a long time. Scientists now believe the inside of the North American plate may be more active than people once thought. The plate can slowly bend or shift over long periods. This is called plate flexure. It means the ground is not completely solid, but more like a thick layer that can slowly change shape. This event in the Appalachian Mountains might be the first sign of a larger pattern. Other quiet parts of the world may also begin to show slow and steady changes in the future. While scientists debated what might happen millions of years from now, people living in the area had more immediate concerns. When people first heard about the strange land movement, many got nervous. These places had been quiet for a long time. No one expected earthquakes or ground shifts. Local leaders started talking about what to do if things got worse. Some towns began practicing safety drills in case of an emergency. Others made changes to their local rules to prepare for possible trouble. People started to talk more about safety at home and school. Insurance companies also noticed. They began to update how they looked at these areas. This meant some people might have to pay more for home insurance. As the ground moved, people saw cracks in walls, driveways, and sidewalks. At first, many thought it was from the weather or old age. But when more homes showed signs of damage, experts started to look into it. They found that shifting ground may be the real cause. Cities and towns brought in engineers to check bridges, roads, and older buildings. They needed to make sure everything was still safe. 
Some places may now need to build stronger structures to handle future shifts. Energy companies also had to take a closer look at their work. Coal and gas drilling happens deep underground. If the ground moves even a little, it can damage wells or pipes. Some wells have long metal casings that could bend or break under pressure. This could lead to leaks or even bigger problems. In some places, new drilling stopped while experts studied the risks. The people in charge want to keep workers in nearby homes safe. Even small changes in the earth can make a big difference in energy work. But the moving earth wasn't just affecting people and buildings; it was changing the very fabric of life itself. Ecological and cultural dimensions: the land is changing, and the forests are feeling it. Trees that once stood tall are now under stress. Their roots are trying to adjust to the moving ground. Soil layers are shifting, and that affects how water flows below the surface. Some places are getting too much water, while others are drying up. These changes make it hard for plants to grow the way they used to. Animals are also struggling. Many are leaving their homes, and some are finding it hard to survive in new spots. Nature is acting differently. Some plants are blooming earlier than normal. Others are blooming late. Birds and other animals are moving to new places. Frogs and other amphibians are breeding at strange times. These changes might seem small, but they matter. When one part of nature changes, it can affect everything around it. Scientists are watching closely. They are making a list of all these changes to see the full picture. This helps them understand how life in the area is reacting to the ground movements. Long before science stepped in, Native American groups told stories about the land. Some of these stories talk about sleeping giants under the mountains. These tales describe what movements in the earth that happened long ago. Today, experts are paying attention to these old stories. They believe that mixing these stories with modern science can help everyone understand what is going on. It brings two kinds of knowledge together, one from the past and one from the present. The land is still moving. Scientists are watching every small change. They are not sure what it means yet. The ground keeps rising like it has something to say. These old mountains may still have more surprises. People are listening now more than ever before. The Appalachian Mountains may look calm, but deep below, something powerful is unfolding. As the land shifts and science races to understand it. One thing is clear: this moment matters. Stay informed, stay prepared, and keep watching the mountains. If you found this interesting, give it a like, share it with others, and subscribe for more updates.